With the fire season officially upon us, the Rural Fire Service is urging landholders to prepare their properties now rather than wait for the long hot summer. In the last few weeks, the RFS has battled a number of blazes, a sign that the summer ahead could be a disastrous one. Recent rain is expected to sprout new fuel growth, which creates great fire potential when dried out. The Rural Fire Service says it's ready for all contingencies. We're ready to respond to whatever comes along. Um, we've had a little bit of activity the last uh, couple of weeks as people have been uh, attempting some burning off uh, that's caused a few concerns and a few problems. Superintendent Hoadley says landholders should be vigilant and recognise fire warning signs. Following a, a big growth period uh, and a lot of fuel build up, um, when you then get that combined with a hot dry summer with uh, windy weather and low relative humidity, you've got the recipe sort of for a fairly severe fire season. He says a continual influx of new members has ensured the right number of troops will be on the ground when needed. Open days spark interest and lead to new members joining the RFS, but the more the merrier. With work pressures and uh, farming commitments, sometimes it's difficult for them to, to make themselves available. So we're always looking for new people. Locally, the RFS has never been caught short in an emergency. The key to success is quick response with the right gear. Send the a very quick response with the weighted level of, of equipment. And that's not only brigades and tankers, but aeroplanes, heavy earth moving equipment and so forth. Landholders are urged to prepare their sheds and properties, but most importantly... Download a bushfire survival plan and uh, have a discussion with their family and make sure that they've got a plan in place so that if anything does go wrong, that they know uh, what they're going to do. Peter Freestone, Wind News. Wellington.